Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nagy Soupster, and today I'm going to be doing a deck profile. And today I'm doing a deck profile on Naturia Plants. Just to give you a little background on the deck, I started playing this pretty much right when Duelist Revolution came out. Um, I've, I thought I was really broken, like this card right here, the fact that if you tribute a Naturia monster, then they can't activate spells or traps. I thought that was really good, but... I think with the way the format is progressing, um, this deck is slowly getting, I guess, kind of on like the down slope. Um, the deck's still like really, really good if you can get like this combo off or like a, like like a Giga Plant combo off, but um, it's definitely slowly getting um, you know less played, mostly because I think of uh, the fact that they, that they put Cyber Dragon at three, and now pretty much everybody is citing Triple Cyber Dragon because it's too good not to run three. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, and then pretty much everybody that's not like GBs is running a Raikou, and Raikou kind of messes up with this guy. But you obviously have answers for that still in this deck, but it's just that like, they can draw like a weird combination of Raikous and Cyber Dragons and stuff that this doesn't stop, and then if you don't have the back rows to, ne to negate it, then you kind of lose. But then there are times where like you draw this and you draw like Titanium and some other stuff, and they really can't do anything. So, here we go. Naturia Plants. Uh, you want 3 Bamboo Shoot because he's the best Naturia Monster. When you tribute a Naturia Monster for him, you know, your opponent can't activate Spells or Traps. Um, also, if they play Effect Failure on this guy, he loses his effect forever because he forgets that he was tributed by a Naturia, which kind of sucks. Um, also, if I sound sick, that's also because I am sick. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, next, the next best thing is 3 Naturia Pineapples. So this guy is like a treeborn frog, but you can only special summon him when you only have plants and beasts in your graveyard, which kind of limits him to not being like broken in every deck. Um, he also makes all your monsters plants while he's on the field, so I mean that's kind of good. But yeah, he pretty much has the same restrictions as frog, where you can't have any back rows and you can only have one of him out. You know, you can't like summon two from the grave, but. I'd pretty much run three just because he's the best Naturia monster besides shoot to tribute for him. Um, and then I run one Cosmo Beat only because, you know, it's Cosmo Beat. <laughs> Not really, but I just run it because it, it, I don't know, it just got kind of a cool effect. Like, um, one time I can remember turn one, I just set a pineapple. And I, and I know they played Raikou bullshit, so they just set a Raikou, say go, and I go special summon. Then on my turn, I'm like attack, he's like Raikou, so I destroy that. And then my face two, I just go tribute. So I pretty much played totally around the Raikou. So Cosmo Beast is pretty cool. He's, he's also a two-star tuner, which can be really, really important to this deck. Um, so yeah. Then to the plant part, two Lone Fire. Best plant in the game. This card is ridiculous. Should we get any plant? I mean, come on. Then I run one Titanial, because it's the best thing to get off this. And then I run one Giga Plant. Uh, Giga Plant's really, really good in this deck. Um... He helps get this out of your hand if you draw it, because you can summon from the hand. Drawing him is pretty much the worst thing that you can do, but you can draw anything else, and as long as you can get this out, you'll be fine. Um, with cards like Super Solar, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, um, makes his effect to summon him even better, because you because you have ways to bring out um, Lone Fire without summoning, so then you can just, you know, Giga Plant stuff. Um, next, I play 2 Dandelion. Because Dandelion's another good plant. Um, helps with Titanial, um, Synchroing, stuff like that. Then I run one Spore. Spore saves your ass a lot. Like, I was thinking about taking it out, but, I mean, it's just too good in some situations. So, I, I kind of have to keep him in right now. Also, the fact that you can remove this and it becomes a six-star tuner. Like, that's a little ridiculous. Um, and then I run one Cactus Monster um, to help, like, combat, I guess, like, I don't know, Cyber Dragons and stuff. Like, pretty much the best setup is either your shoot and tits or you can have a shoot and like cactus bouncer i mean that's pretty good so yeah um, that's that and then i run two quacky mail gravy rows um this is a proxy for one because some bitch still has mine don't even know what his name is he's just a jerk um but if you guys don't know this guy what he does um he's just like all the quacky rows where you have to reveal a plant during the end phase to keep him around the thing that makes this guy really good is that during each of your standby phases, you can send a level 3 or lower monster from your deck to your grave. So you can go send Dandelion, and then you can go like summon Lone Fire, tribute it off, you know, do your normal titanial shenanigans. 
Or you can go standby phase and pineapple. Still standby phase, special summon it, and then main phase one, tribute for uh, bamboo shoot. So gravity rose I think is really really good in this deck. Um, it's sometimes a little slow, but you know it's it's just so worth it. Like if you can actually get its effect off. So I run that. Finish off the monsters. You got a uh, hamster and three Rikos because it's just a really really good engine. Um, keeps the, keeps the deck consistent and it's a beast, so it doesn't conflict with the pineapple. So gotta get back later, but yeah, um, that's pretty good. To the spells, two Super Solar Nutrient. Um, tribute a two star lower planet you control, especially summon one with plus three or lower levels from your deck. Um, this card's really, really good. Probably my favorite play is to go standby phase, summon uh, pineapple, activate, send that, especially summon Lone Fire. Lone Fire, tribute itself. So, tribute itself. Then go get. Where is he? Uh, go get Giga Plant. And then, since you haven't summoned this turn, um, you can re-summon him, use its effect, special summon Lone Fire, tribute off Lone Fire, and then go get a Titanial. So essentially you use one card to get these two, which is ridiculous. Um, so Super Soul is really, really good. Um, and yeah. Then I run two Book of the Moons, because it's Book, and I don't know, it's just good. Foolish, because you can Foolish Dandelion and do plays with the Super Solar and, you know, just shit like that. Um, Pot of Iris, because you do mill in this deck with the Ryko, so I think it's justified to run one. I run one Gold, sarc gold, gold Sarcophagus, because I think it's really, really important to get to the Bamboo Shoot. Like, I think you have to get to that. So it just makes it more consistent, but, like, if you already drop this guy, then you can just Sark for, like, I don't know, Monster Born, because Monster Born's broken. Or you can Sark for, like, Dark Hole. And then I also run one MST. Because I don't think really spell and chat destruction is really important in this deck. Because you can just bring this guy out. Um, or then you, like, you should be fine once you bring this guy out. Uh, now to the traps. I run two bottomless. Bottomless are good. Two polynoses. This card tested really, really well for me. I don't know. Like, some people don't like it. But, like, turn one, you can just set that. And, like, set that. And then, you know, negate something. Stand by face. Bring it out. Shoot. You know. So that's pretty good. Um, I run one Psalm Judgment. Because Psalm Judgment's good. Call the Haunted, too broken to get back a Lone Fire. Like, Lone Fire is just too ridiculous, so you want to make sure you can abuse as much as you can. I run a Deep Prison because Stardust is sometimes a pain for the stick, so I like having that. Um, one Torrential, Mirror Force, and our Royal Oppression because Royal Oppression is so good. Like, it's honestly, I think this card is going to become slowly, like, the best card of the format. Um, outside of, like, Cold Wave, because Cold Wave stops this, but this card is just so good right now. Um... X Sabres and GBs and all those decks, like, just boom, real oppression, you know? I mean, there's a reason why it's limited. Like, it's really, really overpowered. Um, so, oppression's good. But that was the deck, guys. Um, I kind of, like, made a mess here with the deck. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, I was thinking about playing this for regional, but then just the way the, the, the meta, like, here in Colorado has progressed, it's just not going to work to play it at our regional but um i definitely encourage you guys to try it out um you know put some tech choices in let me know how it works for you maybe play it at your own regional because the meta isn't like really weird there but yeah definitely still a good deck i, I might pick it up after regional um but we'll see so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed it thanks